Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with another speed build and we're doing something a little bit different than normal today. This is actually a build that was suggested by one of you guys. Kirsty asked if we could build a British semi-detached house and well I don't think this particularly follows a style. I'm not sure if it would be considered a British one or not. We did make a semi-detached house. I looked up all kinds of different ones and then I just kind of was like I'm gonna figure it out. They're basically characterized as two separate houses that share a common wall and a lot of the times they are very symmetrical and just kind of mirror copies of each other. So I thought that would be kind of fun, something I don't typically do because I don't typically build symmetrical homes. And so that's what we're doing today. I'm really excited about it because <laughs> I really, really liked that suggestion. And uh, if you guys ever have suggestions of stuff you would like to see on the channel, please comment them down below. I do sometimes take those suggestions if they sound like fun to me and make videos of them like we are doing today. So what I did is the right house is fully furnished how I would normally do a house build. The other house is what it would be like if you moved into an apartment or house in real life. There's wallpaper, there's floors, there's counters and cabinets, and there's plumbing and a fireplace. <laughs> so like all the stuff that would make sense if you moved into a place in real life, that one is furnished like that. So if you guys download this from the gallery, you can uh, furnish that one to whatever family you like or leave it blank as I have it now and live in the other one. But I fully furnished one of them to be for a family and each of these houses, each side of it has three bedrooms and I think two bathrooms. So they're pretty spacious uh, houses. I think of these as kind of like townhouses, but I guess they're called semi-detached other places. So good to know. Uh, I just thought it was a really fun idea. So that's what we're doing here today. I tried to change the colors a couple times on the outside. I cut most of that out, I'm pretty sure. And we fiddle with the shape quite a few times, but I'm really happy with how it came out in the end. Like I said, it's pretty spacious. They have like a kind of used to be garage. I imagine these were renovated. So the garage <laughs> definitely could not fit a car anymore in it. And uh, it kind of has a bathroom and like a laundry room type area in the garage area. And then we have a kitchen and dining room that is like combined, a separate living room, a kind of like back hallway type area that would be like where you put your shoes on or throw whatever stuff in the back. I have like some cat bowls, I think, because I kind of designed the one I worked on that I fully furnished to be people that own cats. So that's kind of the vibe I was going for. But we're pretty close to the final shape of the house here. I think we extended a little bit past this, but I think it's really cute. And I don't normally do symmetrical houses, but I feel like it makes sense for a house like this. So I thought that was really fun. Uh, I wish we had it in The Sims where you could kind of distinguish where like having more than one family living on a lot and actually have it as like a functional kind of like an apartment. Uh, but unfortunately, we do not have that. I also just built that little section in the front there to have a separate area for trash and for mailboxes for the two different households and just going to do some of the landscaping. I don't remember if I kept all of it in or not. And I really wanted this uh, particular side to be a house that was very family oriented. I imagined that the Sims living here have two kids. They're both kids. Uh, one's a boy, one's a girl. And that's how I furnished the bedrooms. And hopefully you guys like how they came out. Anyway, we are just adding some cars in the driveways out here. I thought it was kind of cool to have them connected to the sidewalks so you could walk directly in from there. And I just thought it looked pretty cute. Uh, but this is a pretty close to what the outside ends up looking like. Uh, we're just going to be adding some more windows and stuff around and extending the sides a little bit on both sides to kind of cover some of the funky roofing that's going on. Uh, that's that's my favorite way to fix it is just add more house. It, it'll cover it. <laughs> we also end up getting rid of this pool in the front yard. I wasn't exactly what, sure what kind of family we were going to have in the initial house. And you'll see me jumping back and forth between both sides to uh, kind of add the plumbing and counters and stuff to the other apartment as well. Because uh, I just thought it was easier to do it while I was going. So I could be like, okay, let's put one here and one here. And then I just kind of decorate one of the houses fully as if somebody lives there. And uh, since I figured out that I thought the kids would be in elementary school, I got rid of the toddler pool because that didn't make much sense. But it's very like clean 
modern gray white just very clean design in here and i thought that was a really nice updated look and uh yeah if you guys want to download this house it'll be available on the gallery my origin id is griffy or you can search the hashtag miss griffy which i put in every single uh one of my uploads because it's easier to find that way because it's you know my youtube name and that's usually how you guys would probably find it. I don't know which one you search more, but <laughs> anyway, uh, that is available up there. It should be called semi-detached house or something along those lines, because I think that's what I named it because I wanted it to be straight into the point. Uh, but we're just adding some accessories, accessories in the kitchen, like a fruit bowl. And then we were looking at all these different hutches and I ended up going and grabbing the one from jungle adventure instead to put over here. Cause I thought it filled up the space better. And we also use the Jungle Adventure table in the end. And I just think it looks really cute. We put four chairs at the table and then we have two stacked off to the side, uh, which would not be functional because, you know, they're kind of clipping into each other with move objects. Uh, but I just figured it made sense that there's four Sims that most likely live in this house. And if they have company over, they can pull those chairs over so they can seat more people. But uh, if you guys ever download any houses, especially this one or pretty much all of them, because I use move objects a lot. Make sure you enable the cheat bb.moveobjects on before placing any lots or things are gonna disappear or drop to the ground and it's just not gonna look right. So <laughs> that's kind of an important thing. I think a lot of builders say that too. So I think it's safe before you download any lot. If you don't know if it uses move objects, it's better safe than sorry to go ahead and turn that cheat on. But I think that's pretty much it for these rooms. I just added a trash can and we're gonna add a little, uh, counter, not a counter, <laughs> what would this be called? Like a little dresser in the hallway with a mirror just to decorate the hallway a little bit. And we end up adding a thermostat in here as well. And I believe a little coat rack on the wall. Just pretty simple decorations throughout the hallway to make it look a little lived in. We also have this activity board. I made sure to add a lot of family stuff in this uh, house because I figured there would be kid stuff everywhere. They have two kids that are children and they're just trying to do everything they can for them. So we have the activity boards, we have the parenthood like board to set curfews and stuff. That's in the kitchen. I think it's covered by stuff so you might not be able to get to it, but you can definitely switch it with the activity boards in the hallways uh, and make that so it's in a functional space. But that's just the back hallway, it's pretty simple. And then the living room, I thought was so cute. We ended up adding some brick walls that were consistent throughout the apartment or the houses. Uh, so I added that to the other room as well. And then we filled in this space and we ended up using some parenthood couches, which I love. I love me some parenthood couches. And this room's pretty blue and cutesy and has lots of toys and stuff everywhere, as well as some uh, stuff for the cat. There's like a bed and a scratching post. I just thought it was cozy and very family friendly. And I've been using this table a lot that we got with the update last week or two week last week, two weeks ago. Don't know, can't figure that out right now. <laughs> uh, but I love that table. I just wanna use it all the time. So we added this like funky bed that came with my first pet stuff. Um, not a big fan of that pack, but some of the items I'm like, this is usable. I kinda like it. Uh, I and I also added a hamster in this house, I believe. I think it's upstairs in the boys' bedroom. But we're adding a computer desk over here and uh, it's just shoved nicely into the computer, the computer room, the living room. I just thought it was a very cozy place and since this is a semi-detached house or a kind of a smaller home and like what we would have here as townhouses, because I, I don't know like the logistics of other countries, but I know here these are cheaper homes because they're attached to another house. Um, I figured things being like squished together and lived in and stuff would be really cute. Uh, but here we are just adding the little laundry room that's in the garage area. And I duplicate this over on the other side as well, uh, because I thought it was important to have all of the stuff that's built in be the same in both apartments. And I don't have me filming making the bathroom the same on the other side because I forgot about it until I was saving this house out. And I was like, oh, that bathroom is not on the other side. So I had to go ahead and add that. It's, it's just the basics. It doesn't have decorations and stuff in it. All of the bathrooms that we have on the other side. It's just in this one, it has decorations. Uh, but this ends up being a very simple room. I think we just have a don't, uh, is it don't wake the llama? One of the game tables in front of the uh, door, the garage door, 
And we also have those decorations from seasons that we can use and some decorative stuff around here. And the toilet disappeared <laughs> because move objects wasn't on. Uh, so they're th just showing the importance of that that I just talked about. We're just adding some stuff. We don't add much around here, honestly. I feel like we could have added more. I don't know why I didn't. But uh, that leaves lots of space for you to add whatever clutter you would like. And we end up adding an ironing board here as well. That's an item I wish we got a functional version of because I know they were considering that for the laundry pack, but they didn't have enough time or resources to do it. But that would have been awesome. <laughs> we also end up having this little, uh, like, I guess, what would it be called? It's kind of like a linen closet, but as a set of, like, its own standalone thing because it has, like, towels and stuff in it. So I think of it as a linen closet. So I put the upstairs in the hallway with a nice plant on it. And then this is the master bedroom. So... I fiddled with rugs forever and I apparently left it all in so you could see the struggle. Or I didn't leave it all in. I feel like there was more rugs than that, but maybe I'm remembering it wrong. <laughs> Sometimes I fiddle with stuff for the longest time and can't figure it out. And we're back to classic blue because I love me some blue. Uh, and I really like this bed from Cats and Dogs and we have these pretty blue paintings above the bed and some pretty simple side tables as well from Parenthood, I believe. And yeah, just adding some lumps. I've been really using these uh, vintage glamour ones a lot lately. And this vanity, because I love the vanity. I always use the vanity. Uh, but I also overuse this cats and dogs dresser. I really need to, like, use some more things I don't typically use. I mean, I created, like, the things I never use challenge last year, I think. And I still have a problem with there's a lot of things I don't use in the game. I have personal favorites, and I can't seem to step away from them. So hopefully sometime soon I will learn to do that. But that's okay. It's okay to have personal favorites. Like I'm probably going to keep still using stuff kind of like I still use blue in almost every build as a prominent color in most rooms. Um, <laughs> but that's okay. I, I love blue, or at least in The Sims. Uh, but anyway, we're just adding some decorations over on all of these surfaces. And I feel like I use the same things too. I feel like a lot of other Simmers, I'm like, oh, that's such a cute combo. Like, how did you think to put those decorations in that order? And here I am using the same three or four items <laughs> on every surface. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping to work on that. There's a lot of items in the game I forget exist. And I really want to kind of work on that a little bit and kind of improve my building. And I just switched where the bathroom and the other bedroom were going to be because I realized I sectioned it off for a bedroom to be in the middle of the house with access to zero windows. <laughs> and I was like, that is not a good idea, Tanya. Why did you do that? Uh, so we fixed it. But this is the purple room we end up doing as kind of a girl's room because I really love this canopy bed that we got with Seasons. It has a bunch of colors on it that I haven't used yet, but I really like this purple one. So I thought we would go ahead and use it again. And the whole color scheme is like purple, gray, and black. And I really like it. Uh, so it's like very girly. I imagine this is more like a tween girl uh, that has some kid toys still, but is probably like 11 or 12. Um, so not quite a teenager, but almost there, or maybe a very young teenager. So I, that's kind of who I had in mind for this room. And it's so cute. I like it so much. <laughs> and we added a little journal and some books and stuff on her little dresser. And then we ended up adding a shelf on the wall that I haven't used in a really long time. Uh, we'll probably be grabbing it in a minute, but it has like a purse and stuff hanging from it. It's so cute. Uh, and of course the backpack. Always gotta have the backpacks in kids' rooms, although I don't think I added it to the other room. But this is the little shelf I was talking about. I really like it, but I don't use it very often. And we also added a fishbowl up on the shelf. I thought that was kind of cool. And some posters above the bed, because I know when I was that age, I had posters all over my room of Aaron Carter and Jesse McCartney. So <laughs> kind of needed to have that, uh, whoever that boy is above her bed. I'm assuming it's in the sims th their generation of oh, that boy i guess like later people younger than me for them it was like probably justin bieber but for me it was aaron carter and jesse mccartney like definitely so that's what we added uh for the boys room we have more of like a built-in unit for the bed and like there's bookcases behind it that are kind of like a whole structure i thought it was kind of nice and uh I don't know, I just, I really liked it when we end up adding a hamster in here as well. It's a nice little chair in the corner and a cat scratch post for the kitty cat that lives in this house. I imagined that both of the kids spent a lot of time with the cat. 
Uh, so I thought that would be kind of cute. Uh, I originally added, like, cats welcome and dogs welcome mats outside in front of each house. And we had the dog welcome one in front of this one. And then I started adding cat stuff to the house, so I switched them. <laughs> uh, but the only thing is, then uh, there's a lot of dogs and cats at your house. So you might want to get rid of them. I wish there was a way to have them placed down because they're cute uh, without them having the effects of bringing all of the dogs and cats to your house. Oh, oh wait. I think I added the lot trait, cats and dogs welcome. You know, <laughs> that probably didn't help. I was like, I'm trying to take screenshots. Why are there seven cats in my house? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? That's wonderful. Uh, so we're decorating the bathroom upstairs now. And uh, I think we already did the other one. I, I looked away from the the view for a minute there because I was laughing about seven cats. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're just mirrored bathrooms. And we decorated this one more because, I mean, I imagine the family was already living here. And I just think it came out pretty cute. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any more suggestions of builds you would like to see, please comment them down below. I've been so into building lately. Actually, as soon as I finish this voiceover, I'm going to continue building on a build that should be out later this week that I'm absolutely loving. Uh, and I just, I want more ideas. I have a bunch of ideas. Uh, but sometimes like just an idea that you guys pop into my head sounds more interesting in the moment like this one did. Uh, I put some of my other ideas on the back burner to do this. Uh, so let me know if you guys have anything you would like to see. Uh, I'm having so much fun building lately. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what the rest of this video is. We're just finishing up some landscaping. And if you guys want to get this, it'll be on the gallery. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope everyone's having a wonderful week so far. And I'll see you guys next time. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and turn on those notifications to be notified when I upload. Thank you for watching. Bye everybody.